Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. I am here to do your um, under eight minute reading, so let's get right into it. Starting this message, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, so double fives, the Lovers, the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups. Oh boy. Five of Wands, Triple Fives, the World card, about drop the whole deck here, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. All right, let's roll the Zodiac die to see what signs you might be dealing with. Libra, whoop, whoop, there you are. Then you have Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Virgo. All right, so what I'm seeing before you came in to start this reading, ooh, you were in an angry mood. You've got the devil energy here with a knight of wands and another five. That is five, 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 five. Filled with regrets. Very unhappy about a situation here, okay? You feel like you are going to put somebody out. Okay, you are putting somebody out. You're throwing them out the door, throwing them out of the house, throwing them out of the apartment, um, freezing them out. You're not talking to them. You are done. You are done with this. With the Five of Pentacles to the Five of Swords and they're looking at each other, you are done with this situation. Okay, this could very well have to do with a person that you have been dealing with um, for quite a while. I am getting that... You are tired of being controlled by this person. That there's constantly arguments, conflicts. You, you never know what this person is going to do. You're losing sleep over this person. And you really thought that they would be stable, reliable. This is supposed to be somebody you could count on. Okay? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you have spent some time with this person, too. And they have been nothing but a nightmare for quite a while now. Everything you thought you knew about this person was incorrect. However, there is somebody else around you, and this does not have to be a romantic person. I am seeing a strong um, divine masculine energy here um, of somebody who really, really does love you, like a father, an uncle, a brother. Um, this could be a feminine too, but the energy is of a king of cups really not wearing their heart on their sleeve, even though they have deep emotions. They let their emotions dictate how they respond to situations, but they don't let their emotions get out of control. Okay, so they're heart-based instead of head-based or money-based or anything like that. Um, so you do have some sort of support here. And this person that has your back, that does love you unconditionally, is going to help you put an end to this awful cycle that you have been going through with this person, this other person, okay? And they're going to show you how to feel whole again, to um, work well together with yourself, with other people. They're going, they're, you're going, you've got a sense of community here. That's what I'm getting out of this Three of Pentacles, a sense of community. So there is somebody around you that's going to help you get through this situation. I do feel like this person um, that you're leaving behind, they've really hurt you. And I, this is not the first time. And this could be hurt in any different way. They could have cheated on you. They could have stolen money from you. We have the King of Pentacles here, okay? Um they could have just kept you off balance constantly. And I don't usually use this term, but it is coming through and it has come through since I flipped these cards over. Narcissist. There's somebody who thinks that they are the only thing in the world that matters. What they want is all that matters. They think they are perfect, that there is absolutely nothing wrong with them. Yet, deep down inside of them, they know that everything about them is wrong. But they will never admit that to themselves. They will never admit that to other people. Okay? So you're dealing with a very um, difficult energy here. Trying to get yourself away from a narcissist could be very, very complicated. But you do have somebody here who really, truly does love you, who is going to help you get through this situation. Okay? Okay? 
And again, I'm feeling it's a relative, a close friend, a sibling, somebody non-romantic, okay? So don't turn from one lover to another lover to expect help getting away from this because that's just going to inflame the the narcissist that you're trying to leave, okay? That will escalate this situation. So this is definitely not a romantic partner here. All right, Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Good. By you being your true, authentic self, standing up, using your voice, whether you tell this person or not, but you acting true to yourself, okay? That's what the Queen of Swords does strategizing, planning, thinking about who you're going to talk to, who you're not going to talk to, what you're going to do, gains you your freedom. So there's one other person in you, okay, working to get you out of this situation to help gain your freedom. Now, if this is not about a romantic situation where there is... um a narcissist or whatever. This could be about you extricating yourself from any type of relationship, work, friend, or anything else where it has definitely not been a beneficial relationship to you. It looks like you may have a friend coming in here who will help you, okay? And they're doing it not for their own satisfaction, not, not because they're trying to gain something from you, but because they really do see the type of situation you're in and they want to help. They have a big heart and they want to see you stop going through this because people are witnessing whatever you're going through. Okay. You may think you're suffering this alone and quietly by yourself. That's not true. People are seeing this. Okay. So the cycle is going to end successfully, quietly, whatever. It's going to be put behind you and you're going to be able to have a new fresh start with a new people, a new sense of community, support, okay? And you are going to gain some sort of freedom here. All right, we're going to get you one oracle message here and then we're going to uh, do the three number die. I'm going to be over eight minutes again. Sorry, but I'm going to try to keep it as close date as I can. Concealment. Somebody is wearing a false mask. Okay, let's see what this says. Opened right up to it. You've taught yourself how to be strong, how to be a go-getter, and how to protect yourself. You've conquered obstacles because you know where you stand, and hiding behind a mask can feel safe. When you conceal your true identity and don't let people fully know you, this person, this narcissist, or whatever, then they can't hurt you, right? Wrong. The glamorously painted faces look very appealing of the mask, okay, and provide, seem to provide a sense of shelter. However, if you keep avoiding connecting on a deeper level with yourself and being your true authentic self and opening up to other people, it can leave you feeling vulnerable and alone. Commit to making choices that are better for your unique essence and your unique purpose. You can use this positive affirmation, I am true to myself. Okay, that fits beautifully. Let's go ahead and get you three yes or no answers. Answer one is a yes. That's a 10, yes. Answer number two is a 12, yes. Answer number three is a nine. That's also a yes. Take care. <laughs> 